Greetings and salutations, this is Ivan Dogovich with Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates. In episode 16, we are continuing to advance our piratical operations in Shanghai Grilla, Southeast Asia. I've done a bit of work off camera, purchased a couple dogs, reordered the gals, um, uh, did quite a bit with swapping them around, putting them in um, the armor that I wanted, putting them in locations that I wanted, figuring out exactly where the different um, locations, if they're if they're in the last position, they go up to the top, etc. Putting people near the sniper zone where the sniper zone is, etc. And arming them up um, uh, according to the armor that they can wear. So I've done quite a bit of that off screen. Um, let's go ahead and... Did we lose anybody? Yes, our poor blind butterfly spinner and cutthroat. We lost them on that last uh, mission that we did. Let's do a quick um, check here on the Bonnie. I'll just run through this pretty quick here um, with the different gals here to get a... A look see at how they're set up that smoke armor looks so amazing nothing super um, well I did want to mention one one thing here do we saw yes Jolly Nelly <laughs> Jolly Nelly has requested to have booze upon her at all times so there you are my last you you will be carrying booze at all times um, vigorous Nelly um, as the Nelly sister is carrying I guess she's carrying a bottle of beer as well even though it's not very effective and anyway, there's a bunch of grog in the um, in the Bonnie if you girls get thirsty, so help yourselves. Um, everybody else is fairly well set up and ready to go. Um, trying to keep a fair amount of folks available to um, get up in the sniper's nest. We're actually sporting a sniper weapon with filthy casual. This time around, I don't know how effective this is. I don't know how good it is, but... Um, from the Sniper's Perch, we may do all right. I also gave uh, Cutlass Joe, who's back in the mix this time, the heavy cannon with uh, the armor-piercing rounds. Um, now, this weapon, I imagine, could do a fair amount of damage, and I expect can penetrate personal armor. Um, whether we can actually hit with it or not, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But we'll have the opportunity to check, check it out, maybe. Um, aside from that, uh, some discussions in the the comments. Thank you guys so much for the comments because they are so helpful to me. Um, I'm getting... I've still got some vault space, but this could fill up pretty quick. Okay, I recognize that. Laboratory space? I've got a fair bit, but there's a, a drawback to this. Workshops? I am got them completely full, so that's good. Uh, prison cells? I've got a fair amount of prisoners. Hands, um, okay, but living quarters, I've only got one left, so, like, I could buy another hand, and I probably should, but I'm really concerned here. Yeah, so my income is 848 right now, and that's okay, um, but my maintenance is 400,000 more. So, I've got a deficit right there of, like, almost 400,000 it's 300 and something so I've got the uh, I have my runs making as much grog as possible um, over the next what is it how many days is it here it's the 23rd of February now February in open XCOM doesn't end on the 28th I don't think it ends on the 29th I think it's like the 30th or the 31st like uh, every month is just that's the number of days it is I don't really know why but that's open next come for you. It's not quite the same reality, especially when it's, you know, 600 years in the future. When we turn over, maybe our protection money will boost a bit because our relations will go up and they'll be a little more afraid of us this time around. And we might see an increase, but we're, we still may have a fairly significant uh, deficit. So, if need be, toward the end of the month, I may liquidize some more of our gear and uh, liquidate, liquidate, yes, not liquidize, liquidate, that didn't sound right, um, some more of our gear, maybe sell off some plasma weapons or some engine, ship engines, I don't know, we'll look at it. 
but I am realizing that. So I've got 26,000 now. I think that I calculated I can make um, a certain thousand, 10, 15,000 a day, I think, with the grog. So all that said, let's get cranking. We do have some good uh, research going on. The research is in cooking by the book prisoners interrogation and encrypted data disk let's see what we can roll out here in the next few days maybe we'll catch another ship if so we could get some loot and sell that prisoners interrogation Woot. okay um yeah so pay no attention to the picture behind the gentleman pictures interrogation it's time for change of pace at this little cozy hideout we have the proper tools and knowledge now, and they're gonna tell us everything they know. To make a prisoner ready to talk, you have to run him or her through a little softening up routine at the workshop. In the interrogation category, marked with an I letter, the poor sods will naturally will be naturally stripped of their possessions. You'll see the familiar shorthand info on the material gains, just like with slavery. But instead of an obedient slave, you'll get a broken person at the other end. These can then be invited back here. And with enough extra time with me, be sure that any secrets they have hidden until now will be revealed. Please take note that to arrange a proper softening up course, we need to have a completed normal interrogation of their peer first. You didn't expect everything on the first date, did you? Well then, prisoner interrogation. That sounds cool. So I think the big trade-off here early in the game is, do we sell our prisoner, ransom them for 170, or do we try to extract information out of them? Well, okay, so that's good. That is good, good, good. Okay, so we have some more guys to put into um, the research. Splitting it. Sure, why not? We got an encrypted data disk coming along. That's good. That's good. Any new projects that we busted here? Um, Guild Engineer, Guild Security. Do we sell off all our geos? I think we might, 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 might have a um, basic, yeah. And I, let's see, is my heavy cannon... No, see, I probably have to pull my heavy cannon off to research it. It doesn't have an, an entry in the Bootypedia, so I don't know exactly what its stats are. Okay, so we can now produce one Trader Engineer. And they'll give us the same thing as a slave, but they'll actually give us information. Oh. And engineers can reveal a lot. I think I like this. I think I like this. And I think I like it better than slavery at this point. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, the manufacturer, let's just see what it costs to do interrogations. We can only do the slave engineer. It costs 400 work hours. Okay. Okay. We could get one pretty quick. We've got 30 runs. We can do 300 work... No. Never do math on the internet. We can do 240 work hours per 10 runs in a day. So with 20 minutes, we could get we could break one of these guys pretty quick. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Ooh, that's good. But we need to crank the grog. See, we're making some money. That's good. Um, ah, our attack dogs have gotten here. Good. I think. Yeah. I think. Um. I think I'm going to leave them off the Bonnie this next go-round. We'll see about that. Um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to see was here. Now, the one thing about the monthly cost is these Brainers. Like, I really wanted Brainers to get, you know, all the breakthroughs, but they cost 75000 a piece. That's where the biggest amount of our maintenance is. So, it's got me, I'm not going not, not gonna to lie, a little concern. A little concern there. Okay. So, anyway... I would like to keep on going here 25th of February crank the time moving up here see if we get any more breakthroughs probably not maybe before, right before the end of the month we'll see large 48,000 large 
So in my old experience, larges could be pogrom missions, terror missions, and they can also be supply ships. Where are ya? And where are you going? You're going that way. Up, set the course, send the bonnie after him. Let's see if he's going somewhere. Oh, I don't even know if I want to catch. He's going to go way out here too, okay? Bonnie, lay a new course, come out here. Um, we may have a pogrom. This may be his first pass at the pogrom, where they do kind of the um, scouting. Oh, crikey. Center on the side. <laughs> In, okay, primitive weapons is completed. Well, let's check that out, because we may do another touch and go in this night pogrom um maybe we can snatch and grab somebody we'll see what we can do here okay primitive weapons them firearms are all nice and dandy and they're sure making a lot of noise but alas they need bullets more simple weapons do not need such fancy things and yet they're often more potent if used right all right that is a nice picture there that is sweet, and we can now research poisons. That might be really good. Okay, cooking by the book is average. Um, so I know I want to add poisons into here. So let's add poisons into here. Add poisons, start project. I'm not going to add anybody onto it. Is there anything else I want to get into here right now? Personal armor parts will come after we research the other armors. Maybe basic bullet manufacturing in a bit. I'm not concerned about it right now. Plastic steel would be good, probably. Okay, so I've got three brainers. Um. All right, let's keep splitting our progress. Uh, splitting up the research. Okay, we'll power through. Oh, okay. We can now produce barbed dagger which is sweet. The spear, the bow, and the crossbow. Okay, those are good, I want them. Um, so the barbed dagger is a dagger that has a fairly, I think it has some base damage, but it also applies strength. So as your gals get super strong, the barbed dagger becomes deadlier and deadlier. Um, so that's cool. Spear is a decent melee weapon that I think is similar to a shovel and that it doesn't require a lot of skill, but it's pretty deadly. Bow is an unlimited ranged weapon, but pretty puny. And a crossbow, I think, is similar. I'll have to check out its stats. Cool. Okay, good. Now, hmm. At the abyss, in the rogue fields have another pogrom at the risk of finding out what our what's our score what's your score your activities in the country's income uh, finance a score yeah that's it uh, right Ooh. score we are up over a thousand right now What's that? Yeah, that's score. That's not finance or balance or maintenance. Maintenance is expensive. Expenditures are super high because we've been spending a lot. Income is up here and maintenance. Well, income includes all the stuff we've sold, I think. Doesn't include the... Uh... Right. Um, so then overall enemy activity is at... 80 overall XCOM activity is 800 plus all the research is giving us those scores so even with this pogrom taking a hit I don't think it's gonna be bad so we'll probably do a touch and go um, but we'll we will suss it out we'll take a good look see see if there's anything that we can gain from it oh, I hate pogroms I hate night pogroms <laughs> Don't do that to me! Don't do it! Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay. In the rogue fields we go into the abyss. Are we ready for battle? Yar. 
The Mutant Alliance has called for our support. The forces of evil decided it's time to curb the mutant population and launch a pogrom at this city. They thought it'd be like shooting fish in a barrel. They were wrong. Time to enter the stage and kill all these bastards off. This is surely going to make headlines. Plus, it seems the evildoers are packing a lot of shiny, expensive weapons. Like before, we will again take our recording devices. We will again... Uh, we will again record and note all of the filthy heathens and what they do to the poor mutants. Um, it's night. Might kind of also be worthwhile grabbing some flares. Alright. Nelly, go overweight. Uh, Nelly, yeah, you can go overweight too. Um... Drake, you've got a flare. The Bonnie has some lights on it, too. Uh, if I believe correctly, I'm not sure exactly what the dioxin did. Dioxin did to fix the light issue. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I think this is going to be fun. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, port terrain oh man not my favorite terrain in the world ladies Joe you gotta you have a flare you come up here oh my gosh throw it out there at least yeah okay so that's light lighted lighted up um, who here has a flare? Adam? Well, you have a Molotov, which is almost as good as a flare. Aim shot, please. Let's get this over here. And we see a guy. Oh, in power armor. No, thank you. Um, one of you ladies should have a smoke grenade. Thank you very much. Prime that grenade. And throw it to right there. Okay, you can see him. That's not good. Um, buddy Adam, do you have a smoke? You don't. Yeah, see, that's the guy that has me worried. I don't think we can do much with him at all. And this mutant is kind of on his own. Uh. All right, Joe, look that way and look that way. Not picking anything up there. Okay. Casual. Didn't give you any any light, did I? Well, that was less than optimal. Bertha. Can you come up here? Okay, casual move over here. Berth Bertha. Uh what have you got? You have a Molotov. Okay, if I was to throw it out over here. Could I throw it over here? Through the hatch. Nice. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I'm thinking a touch and goes in order here. Um, just because this guy's looking directly at us. Um, I mean, it'd be nice and all to take him down, but I really don't feel like taking that many casualties just to to do this the the big scary question to me is what are they what do they have with them do they have cyber discs um you know do what's what's out there um okay uh yeah see he fired when we moved did he hit anybody no okay um, so come on up. Come on up to there. Whew, okay, this is scary, scary. Um, alright. Come back over here. How far does the map go? It goes a long way that way. That's not good. How far does the map go this way? A ways. Alright, Stanky, give me some light out here. And you don't see anything but mutants. 
Um, so that smoke's gonna go off. Uh, stealthy cuttlefish, do you have a smoke on? You don't. Erg. Stabby does have a. Drop this here. Hmm. Can we be cagey? If you take a knee, you didn't draw us fire. Good. Okay, Stabby. Let's prime this grenade here. Oh man, what am I doing? Ivan, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so we've got that. Oh. Uh, prime that. Throw that. Okay, never mind. Hang on to that. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's get, uh... Let's get you off your perch up there. One of you, one of you ladies needs to have a smoke grenade up here too, because we want to smoke the top of this if we're going to survive with this tactic here, and we still don't have this lit up. Oh. All right. At the risk of taking casualties from this guy firing into the Bonnie, I'm going to give him a turn. Smoke and smoke. Killing mutants. Somebody over there. Sounded like a shotgun. Shotguns are not uber powerful. Another shotgun. Um, I don't know what that was, but it sounded bad. Okay. So at this point, it looks like we're not picking anybody up. Alright, stealthy. you see out here? No bad guys. Oh, this is so dangerous. Okay, so you made it to here. There's a, there's a mutant over here, and he hasn't gotten thumped. Okay, Tiny, you are sporting smoke gear, okay? Look over here. Did you pick anything up? No. Now, we had that guy up there. Can you spot him? This guy survived, huh? Hmm. Okay. Can you aim shot in here? You can't, can you? Okay, nope. We'll get in there next turn. We'll maybe use that as a staging base and kind of come out through here and attack this way. Oh, Ivan, you're crazy. You're crazy. Crazy man, okay. Stanky, you do have a Molotov, and now you see. Is he on the ground? I think he is. Okay, I think we can kill a guy. I think we can kill a guy. Let's get us... Can you hit him with this? You can. So you lit him on fire. I like it. Um, and I think I want you down out of the way. Okay, Big Bertha. Oh! Okay. That makes things a little interesting. So this Joker right here uh, may be re ooh, really hard to deal with. I think he has some big guns. I think if I remember correctly. Oh! Hit the mic, sorry guys. Alright, if I remember correctly, these guys are called the Boomasaurus. And, uh, yeah. Let's just say they're tough. Okay, you have 44. Why don't we just shoot this guy? Okay, so we killed one. We can leave with honor. Um... Bertha, can you get out of the way? You can't. Good. Um, filthy casual. I'm not convinced that anything you guys have will be worthwhile here. We do have some folks getting some smoke damage. So, Stabby, why don't you come up here? And what if you're carrying? Oh, you got lots of stuff. 
Um, can you throw this out of the craft, arc it through that hole, and hit this guy? Oh my gosh! That was amazing! That was amazing! So we, we blew up the containers nearby, and in so doing, we dropped... We dropped two? Oh, I don't know, but that was cool. Wow, Stabby. Woohoo! VIP. Nice work. Okay, um, Deja Vu Lily, you got your smoke there. Is this a bad guy? Ooh, that looks like a bad guy. Okay, who's over here? Oh, no, these are both, these are just mutants. They're not bad guys. Okay, so we got a mutant here, two mutants here. Looks like we might have a flare there, and there were shots fired over here. Okay, this is this is going good. Actually going a lot better than I expected. Um, so the other thing is I could come out here with smoke and then go this way and clear there. With Boomasaurus responding that well to explosives, um, I still got the power armor, guys. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Does make me want to take some more advantage of this, though. Not just do a touch and go. We may be able to actually win this fight. I don't see any cyber discs. And those, I think, were too hard for me, maybe? Okay, so... Nelly, you don't have a full... Oh, right, you are... You're down on time because you are overweight. And I did that on purpose, and that wasn't maybe super smart. Alright, Martian Max, you see who? Oh, right here, another bad guy. He's looking this way. Look over here, nobody. Hope you don't get shot. Okay. So we're in the smoke, Max has got smoke gear on, we know there's a bad guy there. Um, now, Bloody Adam, you... Do you have a... do you have something you could throw over there? You might. I think you do. Right. Aim shot, please. Whoa. He took that like a man. Okay. And Deja Vu Lily. Let's throw this over here, too. Cool. Let's aim shot that over there. On there. Okay. Okay. Um, it's coming. It's coming. Who's this? Fancy Drake. Yeah, fancy. Hmm, be nice to get light out over here. Oh, man, Ivan, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't want to run you there. Okay, let's throw and go this way. All right, and how far can you get back into the craft? All right, let's take you back up to the craft. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, checking everybody's weapons here. Jerkwater Janice could possibly drop and shoot the guy. She's got the blunderbuss. I'm afraid she'd take she take fire though. Let's wait until the smoke grenade goes off. Slow down, Ivan. Everything's gonna be alright. Slow down. Everything is gonna be alright. Stabby, you're there. Okay. Alright. Give him a turn. More guys. Whoa! 
they're there too. Holy cats. Well, that makes me want to go thump whoever this is over here. Do you have any light on your stealthy? Well, you got a Molotov. And it looks like he was firing right in here. Let's aim shot this right here. Where is he? Right here, huh? Well, that took too much time. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to take him out. Alright, so come in here. Bloody Adam. I want this guy down. Not enough energy, but you were right at the right place. Let's hope you can hit him. Nice. Okay. Good work, good work, good work. Martian Max. He fired and missed. Oh, Max! There was a guy back here. I looked like it wasn't so much that he fired that it was he, um... Actually... Oh, I don't have any... Ooh. I don't have any, um, weapons that will... Uh, blow up right away. Well, this should do it. Can throw that over there. Okay. Yeah, so that should take that guy out. There's another guy over here. Hmm. Can we get light over there? And can we take him out? Stabby? What have you got for light? You got a Molotov. Come on up here. Look that way. I want a Molotov down here. Okay, can't see him, but he probably is in this area. Um, okay. Cutlass, come down here. Alright, Bertha? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Part of me wants to still fight this. Ah, there's so many weapons though, and they're so deadly. The other part of me says, Boogie, you've done enough. Get out while you still can. Okay, Bertha, let's take this, uh, take this wall out. Head back. Deja vu, come on back. Stealthy. Come to here, you can go up next time. Do you have anybody else on the ground floor? Just her. And we got a grenade ready to go off over here. Right. We got that bad guy over there. Adam, I guess take a knee. Um, so we're going to need to support your evacuation. Who has a grenade launcher here? Stanky does. So I'm gonna blind fire into here. 52. Wow. You're <laughs> so inaccurate. So inaccurate. Dang. Okay. You're in the way a bit, I'll bet. Um. Bertha, do you have anything you can throw out there now? Probably not that far. You could put another grenade out there. I guess you could. You could reload it. Step up. And you can give me a snapshot out there. What I want to try to do is if I can blow this up. I guess not. <laughs> if I can blow the containers up, I might have been able to blow up... Um, this guy, wherever he was back here. Okay, so that didn't work out so good. All right, come back down. Good. Joe? Sniper here. Doesn't carry anything. Okay. And Fancy Drake, let's move you up a little. Get some of the gals out of the smoke a little. Okay. 
Give him a turn. Killed one more guy. Ah, oh, jeez. There's beam weapons and everything. What does this person have? A longsword? A confederate eagle? $20,000? Dang! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Drop your sword. Pick that up. Drop that. Drop that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Come this way. And see if we can get you out of there, too. Wow. So the 20,000 may kind of help make up for some of the losses, but I, I really think it's time to boogie. Really think it's time to get on out of here. All right, Stealthy is there. Uh, Tiny Tabitha, you're taking some smoke inhalation. Come on up to here, please. Okay. Yeah, there's probably even better gear out here, but really, can I afford it? Can I afford to find it? I mean, will I be able to find it? Can't see the guy down here, wherever he was. If this was clear, I might try to clear more of the map, but no. Okay, Stanky, where you is? Come on back down. Come on back down. Okay. Everybody's there. Uh, we'll go one more turn and we'll get work our way to get Bloody Adam out of here. Whoa! Behind us. Whoa! Fire is blowing things up. Do you see him? No. Run for the smoke. Run for the smoke. Okay. Anybody else? Come back up. Take another look around. Oh, you see somebody. Who's that joker? Give me a... Uh, give me a reload. Give me a snapshot. Um, that's off target. I'm just going to call it. That's not, not where we want to hit here. Okay. Come back down here. Okay. Cutlass, do you have anything? You don't. You probably threw it all, didn't you? All right, Bertha. What have we got that you can actually hit him with? Uh, smoke? No. Let's go with a powder, black powder bomb. Okay. Aim shot. Really? Out of range, huh? Splash? What's the splash on one of these? Ho! Oh. <laughs> far enough to get that nice nice work Bertha <laughs> nice work okay uh, bloody Adam yeah okay next turn Wow okay up we go and away up up and away okay so who can get me a look out here? Cutlass? Look this way and that way. One more step. Anybody else we can shoot? Nope. Come on back in. And if we abort, everybody's there except our one fallen comrade. Enemies killed six, which is good. They killed 12 mutants and we lost one. Okay. Notoriety was a big joke. We left some stuff behind. Um, a grenade? Oh, grenades. Frag grenade, yep, okay. Not too horrible, not too horrible. And our score this time around uh, has leveled off. We've dropped a few, but we're still doing better than the aliens. So that's good, okay. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here, folks. Uh, we did survive a pogrom. We are making some money. 
We'll see what those long swords and maybe we can sell some of that jazz. Oh, we got 20,000. That helped. So um, we'll be probably ordering a couple more troops next time and um, seeing what happens at the end of the month. I do want to thank you for joining me for this episode 16 of Let's Play Open XCOM Pirates. You have been looting the long swords with Ivan Dogovich. Cheers!